on the rich pattern on it, the kind of different pattern on our figures make, make our fingerprint very unique. So similarly, we are going to understand the characteristics of the parameters related to the footprint. So what are these? That is mainly, that is all about the gate pattern. So let me define what gate pattern is. So gate pattern is a series of a pattern which is being formed when a person is walking or running or maybe jumping. So the kind of patterns we get, those patterns together all together is being called as gate patterns. So how do we uh, how do we understand what gate pattern is and some of these related to gate patterns? First is the direction line. So again define it as setting that that it is an imaginary line which helps the which helps us to know in which direction that the person is moving or walking. Suppose if it is, the person is walking in direction, it's kind of imaginary line we use to understand the direction of walking. Okay, this is the first parameter which comes under the gate pattern. Next, next is gate line. Thank you. 
fashion and uh, the things we can find out from the gate fashion. See, yesterday there was a question right that uh, footprint, how foot, how can we find out the culprit using footprint, yeah. right? One of you asked that question. So I would like to answer that. See, footprint is just a process of that, isn't it? It's just a part of the, in the whole investigation. By using footprint, we can not just tell that this person is a culprit. It can it just increases the suspicious suspicious activity on that person. So using all this all these factors, we can just determine that this might this person might be the culprit. The chances increases if all these pattern 